Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 14th through the 20th of November, 2021. I hope this week finds you guys doing well. I am going to take just a quick second to remind everyone that this is a general reading and therefore it's not gonna resonate with everyone. Um, if you find yourself in that boat, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements, see if those readings may resonate better and um, if you would like a private reading, the directions are in the box beneath the video. Keep in mind also in a general reading that the energies can reverse or flip-flop. That's not at all unusual, and the timelines can vary as well. So let's get started, guys. Spirit, can you bring me the energy of Capricorn? Capricorn. Okay, so Capricorn, we start out with the Devil, Eight of Pentacles, and Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so Capricorn, I feel like you are showing up in your own reading, and I feel like you're in your power. Um, I feel like you're working hard, and I feel like you are also, you know, benefiting from that work with the Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, things are very stable. I see you really honing in on your craft, really focusing on your work, focusing on your money, um, maybe feeling a little bit, you know, um, trapped in it a little bit, a little bit um, less freedom than what you would like to have at this time as a result of work and money, but nonetheless, very devoted to that and really focusing in on it and, and doing well, all right, and definitely in your power right now. Let's see... Um, Let's see what the energy is of the person you're connecting to. The energy of the person that Capricorn is connecting to. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. And we have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Okay. So the person you're connecting with, um, I think that, you know, there is some kind of deception here. It has to do with a lie of some sort. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Could have been a lie of omission, but it looks like it was deliberate. Um, it, something either wasn't told in order to avoid an argument, or it could have been a deliberate outright lie, but there was deception involved. That deception was found out, discovered. So, um, it's unclear if, if this person is saying that was you that did this Capricorn, or if they are the one that did this, but there was some kind of deception that was discovered. It was found out. And I feel like, you know, this person is now being very patient. So they're waiting to see what's going to happen. It's a card of waiting. Now that it's been discovered, now that the truth is out, um, they're waiting to see what's going to happen. Let's see the energy of this connection. Show me the energy. Okay. The Two of Cups. This is definitely a love connection. Yeah, very strong connection, a, a soulmate connection. Um, it initially tried to come out in the reverse, which tells me, but when it landed, it came out in the upright. So it tells me that you are not always seeing eye to eye with this person, but ultimately the two of you seem to have worked things through. And this is a very strong connection. Um, unusually strong connection, in fact. So let's see what is directly affecting this connection. For some of you, this may be a twin flame connection. Because in this particular deck, this is um, my twin flame card. The King of Pentacles. So what's directly affecting this connection is most likely um, money. The masculine in the connection whoever the masculine energy is. Um, it's interesting because um, 
In this deck, we do have the King of Pentacles in both the feminine and masculine energies. And so it could be a feminine who carries the masculine energy even. Doesn't have to be though. Um, it could also be finances, money, or a job that is affecting this connection. So let's see what the outcome is. Show me the outcome. It is positive that it is in the upright though. What is the outcome at the end of the week? The Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. So we have a we have a pair and it is the King and the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, those that's earth energy. So it is you and your perfect mate, your, for some of you, twin flame. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know, Capricorn, what's going on here, but um, everything looks so positive on your side in the connection, but your person has something to do with some deceit that was found out, um, something, somebody not speaking the truth. So bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, this is underlying energy, and it does speak to some confusion here. So, let's see why everything is so clear except this person's energy. Let's see what we have going on. All right, so Spirit, why is the devil here and Capricorn's energy? Okay, we have Temperance, and we have the Magician. So you're being very patient. They're being patient. You're being patient. You're balancing out your emotions. I feel like you're manifesting. Um, you know, I feel like you're in your power. You may be feeling kind of confined, kind of stuck um, in in this situation, but I, I feel like you're, you're balancing everything out. Um, you're definitely manifesting. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? What is the Eight of Pentacles here? Page of Cups reversed. And the High Priestess in reverse. So some secret came out. Something about work. Something at work. It had to do with um, uh, holding back emotions. Not giving emotions. Could be that you just aren't using your intuition though um yeah but there's a lack of emotion you may be burying yourself in work capricorn a lot of you guys um do tend to be very uh, very much workaholics so you may be holding back your emotions um and not really following your intuition here you may be um trying to work too much. You may be burying yourself in work. Um, but I feel like there may have been something, some kind of secret. Let's see. Um, well, it's the Ten of Pentacles here. What's the Ten of Pentacles here? The Empress. And the Seven of Wands reversed. All right. Taurus, Libra energy. Um, but this this speaks to long-term connection. It also speaks to, um, it speaks to finances and wealth, long-term wealth. Um, I feel like you've overcome a lot of problems. Now, if this is a twin flame connection, because we do have the Empress here, you've overcome a lot of problems in order to be with this person. Um, Otherwise, um, this is just a very strong connection, and I feel like you, you're you building something very prosperous with this person. And I do feel like, regardless, you've overcome a lot of problems to, to get to where you are in this connection. You're, you're pretty balanced. You're being patient. You're manifesting. Um, it's a very strong connection. I do see that you may not be following your intuition. You may be holding back emotions, though. And there's something to do with work. 
Um, let's see, why is the Seven of Pentacles here in their energy? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Okay, we have the Nine of Cups reversed, and we have the Two of Swords reversed. So they're being patient, but they've made some kind of decision. And the decision was made because their wishes are not being fulfilled. So they're not feeling fulfilled personally. But they've decided to be patient. Um, why is the Seven of Swords here? They've decided to wait. They've decided to be patient. But right now, they don't feel like they're personally being fulfilled. All right, we have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Two of Coins. So somebody's weighing up their options or weighing up the pros and cons in regards to love. And I feel like there was some kind of deceit that came out about this. Somebody may have been, somebody may have had options in love. And they were, they were trying to figure out if they should go a different direction. And that whatever this was came out. So you'll know. Whatever this is, you already know, Capricorn. It's not a secret. You already know. And that secret that came out, it was a secret. Whatever it was that came out is what caused you to kind of pull back your emotions and bury yourself in your work. Because somebody may have been juggling. They may have been juggling in love. Why is the Knight of Swords here? And they may not have been um, actually juggling. They may have had options and just been juggling the idea of it. We have the Knight of Pentacles reversed and the King of Cups. So we have a couple here on the board, but they're not seeing eye to eye. So this tells me that your person didn't feel that the two of you were seeing eye to eye. Again, there's water sign energy here on the board. Um, that is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And they felt stuck. They felt stuck in this um, situation, which caused them to kind of start weighing up the pros and cons of this connection and possibly weighing up the pros and cons of, of juggling someone else because they were feeling stuck in the connection. They felt the connection wasn't moving forward. And I don't think that they were being honest with either themselves or with you about this. But I don't feel like there was actual cheating. I just feel like this person was unsatisfied. They decided to be patient. But then in the, in the meantime, they were kind of looking around. And they were, they may have been juggling the idea of leaving the connection. They may have been juggling the thought of being with someone else. It all came out, even though they were not being upfront and honest about it. It finally did come out. And I think you kind of withdrew. You pulled back. Um, let's see why is the Two of Cups here. But I'm not seeing that there was overt cheating. Um, it was just a... This person wasn't feeling fulfilled in the connection. But ultimately, it looks like they made the decision to, to be patient, that they had a, a lot of investment in this connection. We have the star in reverse, and we have the hierophant. All right, um, Taurus energy. So you may have at some point kind of given up hope here on, on the commitment. They did not. They are, they've recommitted themselves. They've recommitted themselves, and I think ultimately you did as well, but it may have taken a moment to get there. Um, why is the King of Pentacles here? We have the Nine of Wands, and we have the Seven of Coins in the reverse. Hmm. So, yeah, you were wounded by this experience. You were wounded by the experience um, and felt as if this person was not investing in the connection. They did. They stopped investing for a, a period of time in the connection. And I feel like you were holding on 
and and then that reversed. They began to invest, and you kind of felt like you were giving up. What's directly affecting the connection right now, though, is um, this person is feeling they're feeling like um, there's a loss here. Like like if they invest, um, it they're gonna they're gonna feel a loss if they invest in the connection. And you're you're feeling wounded, so there's all of this is affecting the connection. Let's uh let's see the outcome. You hit a rough patch here, Capricorn, in your connection. But I'm telling you, this is a very strong connection. All right, so in your outcome, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So. I do feel like this is a very, very strong connection. Um, it is a, for a lot of you, it's a divine connection. And if it's not, it's a, it's a strong connection. Um, there is anger on both sides. You've hit a snag in this connection. Um, ultimately, though, it's going to, this connection is going to withstand this. There is anger on both sides. And if not anger, there's disillusionment on each side. But the outcome that I'm seeing is you have the page of pentacles. So there's going to be some kind of a tangible offer you're going to make to this person um, or receive from this person, depending upon your situation. You're, you're either going to receive it or offer it, um, and you'll know. Um and that's very positive. It's something tangible. And they have the Ace of Wands. Um, so there's going to be like a, a sexual encounter. And that's going to be a, a game changer for some of you guys as well. Regardless, um, I see stability in this connection. And I see passion in this connection. Um, and I see a new beginning. And I see a stable new beginning. I see a, a beginning that that begins um, small and then goes into something very, very, um, it goes all the way up. So um, it, it is passionate. It is a new beginning. It It's stable. So this is a strong connection. You've hit a snag in this connection, but I don't think it's insurmountable. I don't at all. It's going to take a minute to get there, though. And there's going to be wounding along the way. There's going to be both parties wanting to give up on it. There's going to be confusion and anger, disillusionment. But ultimately, the two of you need to begin to speak your truth. Your person's not been speaking their truth. And you've been withdrawing your emotions. And you're both going to have to get real honest with yourself and with each other. Bottom of the deck. Look at that. You have the Ten of Wands in the reverse, indicating that once the confusion passes, um, you're going to overcome all these problems. And, uh, you know, this cycle will end, and it's going to end in a very positive manner, Capricorn. It's a very, very strong connection. So you've hit a snag in the road, um, a bump in the road, I guess. Um, and I think that it's going to work out very well, but it's going to take a minute. So I'm going to pull from the Lover's Oracles and see if there's any more advice from Spirit. All right, you guys got four cards, but um, I've been told to take them. So let's see. For you, Capricorn, we have... Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. You have to allow it, Capricorn. So, you know, open your or close your eyes and open your heart. Okay? For your person or the crow or the cross watcher, the crow watcher, <laughs> um, it says soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Yeah, this is definitely a very strong connection. I do feel this may be a very strong twin flame or soulmate connection. So this is confirmation of that. And then we have two for the connection. So the first one says, embrace through each other, you find the missing pieces. 
that's perfect. And I do think that that is what um, is going to happen here in this situation. And then it says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those that you love. Beautiful. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Capricorn. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Um, also, like and share the video. Drop me a comment. I read all of them. And until I see you next week in the weeklies, namaste.